Many at the Labour Party conference have been popping in here for a coffee, the only pay-it-forward cafe in Liverpool's city centre. With all profits tackling homelessness, CEO Michelle Langan says she's worried about this winter. Our team are prepared that we are going to see um, a spike in homelessness. And it's the services who are going to have to pick that up. So it's the social services and the charities who are going to end up having to pick up that slack. We are all suffering because of it as well. What would you like to see discussed over the next few days at the Labour conference? I want to see Labour coming out and saying we can do better and here are the options that we can offer people because people need to know what support is going to be there. Liverpool hasn't had a Conservative councillor for over 20 years, but the Labour voters we spoke to today want to see more from party leader Keir Starmer. The jury's out, to be honest. Uh, he's not offered me any sort of policy or, or action that I can sort of latch on to and say, yeah, that's good. It's all been a little bit high in the sky. I think he's got to make a better effort to connect, because he, he just seems to have that connection with, with the, the Labour force. Well, I'm not sure about the leadership with the Keir Starmer fellow. I don't think he's, he's forceful enough in, in, his, in his outgoing. He just doesn't breed confidence for me, you know. Get off your and do the right thing. Don't talk it. Do it. If you can't do it, don't talk it. Don't make promises that you can't keep. Sean Keyes is just finishing off the new Royal Liverpool Hospital. Today, the Shadow Chancellor, Rachel Reeve, said she wanted to see cranes going up and shovels in the ground, using her speech to promise to build British industry through the use of a state-owned investment fund. Do you think that's a feasible plan for the future? I think the money filtering down, there's been a lot of controversy about that, and I can see both sides of that. But in terms of the state are owning businesses and running businesses, unfortunately, that's not where I would like to see it go. We've got a history of that not working, and it, that's why I say businesses are better run by business people and people who run businesses and not the state. In the Labour heartlands, a difficult winter is brewing, and many voters just want to hear how the party will tackle the worst cost of living crisis in years. Emily Wither, Five News.